Greetings, land of YouTube. We have got Bitcoin sitting on the fence, kind of ignoring everyone at this point. 20, 26, 28 hours or so over a day. It has just been just going kind of sideways. Volume is kind of kind of low. And uh, I don't know if the if the bulls caught on or if the bulls have, have taken the bait. I am expecting a move is imminent. If you're new to my channel, I've been talking about this Wyckoff distribution cycle on Bitcoin. I've been showing this. This is a Wyckoff distribution, start to finish, accumulation, reaccumulation, distribution, reaccumulation, uh, redistribution, down to accumulation. I'm inclined to believe we are here, about to drop down, perhaps a 50% dump. This is pretty hard to ignore. Watch as I switch back and forth. I showed this in my last video. That's extremely hard for anyone out there to ignore. It's almost, it's almost perfect. See that? Here's the original accumulation here. Reaccumulation, distribution, redistribution, drops down into an accumulation somewhere 16 to 20,000 ballpark. That is pretty hard to ignore, folks. Since November of 2020, we're talking seven and a half months, eight months, it's fitting it to a T. See that? So I just want to make this video, talk about Bitcoin is on the fence. I've been uh, messing around with my drawings. I put the eye of Providence in this, <laughs> up channel, down channel. It's, Bitcoin's never left this since the second week of November. I tinkered around with it. Originally, I didn't have it symmetrical. I wanted to see if I get it symmetrical. This is just kind of just kind of for fun. Yesterday's candle was right on the edge. So I made another line, another resistance line using the wick, using the wicks, and raised it up a touch. And we're, it's right on it. Um, I had been saying Monday or Tuesday. Of course, this is Monday evening. I'm making this video. Tuesday's here. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I would expect a, a move by Friday. What we're dealing with here is people, some people are saying that, that we're in a accumulation phase. I want to show you this. See how some, some people are sticking an accumulation onto this redistribution. They're just kind of putting that on there. So that's kind of the question here, right? Is this an accumulation or is this a redistribution? If you look, if, if you Google Wyckoff distribution cycles, you will clearly see it states we are in a redistribution about to dump. But that, you know, that's probably no, that's not really a guarantee, but here's an accumulation phase. And here is a redistribution phase. And this redistribution schematic is, is almost a carbon copy of this, right? It, it, it bears no resemblance really to, to that. First peak short, second and third peak are even. On this redistribution, the first peaks short are taller than the second. The third one is taller than both. And no matter how you look at it, we're here. We, <laughs> right? This, this is the decision. We're here. Or we're here. Right? So I've been saying this is, I've been saying this is a fake spring. This is bull bait, and uh, that's not, it's not a guarantee, folks. Not a guarantee. And a warning against high leverage. I know a lot of YouTubers out there are, got you trained to using leverage, and it's really it's really dangerous. And you can do what you want, but but I'm not an advocate for using high leverage. I promise you that. What I want to make this channel about is if and when we get this drop, uh, we can do some good things down here. Maybe maybe use a little light leverage when we get down here when it bounce, you know, when it stabilizes out. Right now it's real volatile, and you probably will get it handed to you no matter what you do if you use high leverage so if, if it gets real volatile everyone gets wiped out so uh high leverage is for professionals and professionals probably don't even use real high leverage because they're professionals you'll never see me trying to get bonuses off of uh, trading sites and stuff i'm not I'm not going to ever do that kind of stuff like you might see other real popular YouTube channels do. You got, you got to think to yourself, why, why are all these YouTube traders, if they're so successful at trading, why, why do they need to pound it into their videos, into their viewers' minds every single video? 
to sign up so they can get so they can get a referral bonus for you depositing that money somewhere. Why why would they need money if they're so if 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 they're saying what you know if they're if they're really good traders they'd be making millions of dollars right why, why are they trying to get a couple hundred dollars off signing up their viewers somewhere it just doesn't make sense right just be real careful out there high leverage is extremely dangerous for anyone even even light leverage is dangerous I'm sure there's longs out there that are just dreading me talking about this dumping. And there's probably shorts out there. They're they're dreading that it goes up, right? So, so that's why I'm never gonna try to talk my viewers into doing that stuff. But uh, anyway, so if you Google why you always clearly see an accumulation with uh, a reaccumulation or two or three to a distribution that drops down to a redistribution or two or three that drops down into a true accumulation, and the spring is where the cycle ends. So there's people making this. The problem with this is a clearly a redistribution pattern here, and then they somehow stick a accumulation pattern onto the end of it. So <laughs> I'm not saying that doesn't happen, but this here, these first three peaks, this that's a redistribution pattern, and uh, it would go down. So if you notice these charts like this. They start with the reaccumulation. They're not. They don't even use the the accumulation. If you Google a Wyckoff distribution, which this chart is labeled, you will never see a full cycle like this. Now, I'm not saying this isn't going to happen, but anything can happen, and nothing's certain. But this chart is is leaving the start of the cycle out, right? This this reaccumulation is at like forty thousand, so. The cycle clearly did not start at 40,000, folks, right? That is that is definitely true. So uh, if you Google Wyckoff distribution and Dow cycle and triple tops and that kind of stuff, that I never see any of the diagrams. I never, I never see them dropping out of a distribution immediately in just, you know, into an accumulation that is directly under the support of the distribution. I, I don't see that anywhere except for YouTubers and, and people like this that just somehow stick it on there, right? So uh, this is generally what a cycle will look like. A full cycle plays out. That's why it's called distribution, because the big the big players are taking all the money from the little players, right? So uh, it's a trap. Trappy trap trap. This whole thing is a trappy trap trap. Trappy trap trap. Traps bears and bulls and traps bears and bulls. The big players take your money. Big players take your money. Little person loses their money. So uh, I'm wanting to get down here. And if you subscribe to my channel, and we do get down here, we can uh, we can do some real good things, right? And when we get down here, I can I can almost pinpoint the, the true spring for you. Now, that's if we do get down here, Bitcoin is making up its mind. It is on the fence, folks. Anyways, I will keep you updated, and uh, I'm still under the opinion that, that we're going to end up doing this. It's been basically a carbon copy for seven and a half months, eight months. And this, if this does play out, it's going to be maybe 10 months by the time it's over here, 11 months. This People were asking when and stuff in August. I would suspect August is out here. Uh, this accumulation would basically be the month of July and then the last of July, maybe the start of August would be where the spring's at. Now this is a speculation, something for you to watch and something for you to think of. I know lots of people are watching this out there. And if you got into a high leverage situation, I apologize because no matter if you're a bull or a bear, well, I don't apologize for me because I don't tell people to do that. I apologize for the people that maybe have drawn you into, into doing that kind of stuff. Um, the bulls and the bears, if you're, if you're high leverage right now, you're both stuck. <laughs> you're both on a fence. I am under the opinion this is going to dump. And uh, once it starts dumping, it's going to dump hard down to like 16,000 and then range between 16 and 20, for basically the month of July. That is my opinion. This, this accumulation phase just simply doesn't match. The only thing that's similar is, is where it sprung. This little spring here is really the only thing I see that matches, but that could just be bull bait, 
right? There wasn't a whole lot of volume through here. Uh, well, there was here on the June 21st, but I think that was mainly shorts buying out of their positions and leaving the market or relonging, and then and they sold here. So it kind of looks like a stalemate, folks. Sorry, I can't pinpoint more of the future. What I've learned about the Wyckoff distribution is they generally will be a cycle, right? They don't they don't end they don't end before they finish. Right? So so if this somehow comes true, the redistribution pattern turns into a prolonged accumulation, uh, maybe that happens, but that would that would invalidate this entire cycle that started November 2020. You know, and that's I mean that's a lot of that's a lot of perfection, right? You saw the start of the video. I was switching back and forth. That's a lot of perfection, folks, to uh, all of a sudden be invalidated with a big big gain, right? So a lot of people out there with trillions of dollars. Wyckoff says you're supposed to look at this like a game against a single entity and there's trillions of dollars that want to get stuffed into Bitcoin that would that would, would your opponent want to buy at 40,000, 60,000, 70,000, 80,000 or would your opponent want to buy 11,000, 16,000, 20,000, 21,000, 22,000 right? But if you had trillions of dollars would, and you were playing this game, would you want to? Would you want the price to get driven up, and so you can spend your trillions at sixty thousand, or would you want the the price to dump to to fourteen thousand, so you can stuff your trillions in and an accumulation around twenty thousand? You know, you want you want three times more Bitcoin buying at twenty, or you want three times less Bitcoin buying at sixty? See what I'm saying? So. uh you hear all the good news about Bitcoin and, and nations starting to make it legal tender. And, and, you know, if you start hearing about a central bank failing and, and nations putting money in, in the Bitcoin, if Bitcoin were to become the, the reserve currency of the planet, that's a lot of money. Right. So would they want to stuff that money in at 60,000, 80,000? Or would they want to stuff that money in at, you know, 16 to 20,000? Right. So. I'm I'm gonna hold to my opinion that it's gonna dump. So I could be wrong, but you see, just one one uh, example after the next of this Wyckoff. Even the Dow, Dow theory is very similar. A lot, a lot of these cycle theories they don't they don't start up here, right? So a lot of these people just cut. See this down on the bottom. They're just cutting the whole bottom of the cycle out, <laughs> right? And they're saying the cycle starts here. Right, distribution, and then it falls into accumulation, pumps right back up. Um, I don't find that diagram anywhere. I find these cycles to be longer, more uh, mature, if you will, right? More uh, kind of like a slow roll on river, right? Just slowly, money just slowly being taken from the little people. Big people are selling up here, right? While the little people are being hyped into buying, and then it drops down. And little people are being hyped into, well, this is accumulation phase. Bye, 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 bye. While the big players are, are slowly going out the back door. Boom, right? And it drops down here. And this is where the big players will be getting back in. If you can see these green dots, this is, where, this is how the big players behave. See how they're waiting for confirmation? I was talking about this in my last video. See this? See how they're waiting for confirmation? If we were to break down out of here, it comes back up and, and retests. And that's confirmation going back down. Same situation here. And it's the opposite for the longs. See how they wait for it to break out of accumulation. It comes back down, confirms. Then they enter the long. Reaccumulation breaks out, comes back down. Retest. That's where they enter the long. Distribution. Drop. Retest. They enter the shorts. See, see, that's that's how a trader would stay safe. And I don't want to to get people into doing that. But but this is how they behave when they do that. This is how a professional day trader would behave. See that? See how that's working? So they don't, that's the problem with YouTubers sucking people in to behaving like this. They'll enter their shorts and their longs 
through here, right? Before there's confirmation, right? Before confirmation, they'll enter it during the redistribution, during the accumulations, right? So uh, talk about that later, I suppose. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, thanks for watching.